Well, it's perfect for breakfast this morning, really any morning. The Egg McMuffin first created in Santa Barbara by a man who owned a local McDonald's, Herb Peterson, really changed breakfast. And every year at this time, his son joins us to talk about Herb Day, Egg McMuffin Day. And this year, they're doing something special to give back during the pandemic. And David Peterson joining us live via Zoom. Good morning, David, and thank you for uh, a little delivery this morning with the coffee and egg McMuffins. So give us the history. It's always fun to hear it about your dad and the Egg McMuffin, and then we'll get into what you're doing today. Yeah, well, thank you for having us. Um, well, the Egg McMuffin story, uh, we weren't open for breakfast back in the late 60s, and my dad was a foodie. He loved food. Um, he was very creative in the kitchen. He was great friends with Julia Childs, and he loved the Eggs Benedict. He said, how can I figure out a way to make a handheld Eggs Benedict? So he started tooling around the kitchen, he created a round ring that kept the, it, it was a, a local blacksmith Teflon coated a round ring and that kept the egg held together. He got Bay's English muffins from Chicago and Canadian bacon and crafted the egg, what's today known as the egg muffin. Um, we experimented with it for about six months in the restaurants and then he invited Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's out. And I was there, my dad was in a chef's costume and he, in front of Ray made an egg muffin. Ray ate four of them and said, oh my gosh, we've got to do this. Six months later, my dad went back to Chicago in front of the board of directors in his chef's costume, made the egg muffins for the board of directors, and the rest is history. Today, breakfast accounts for about 35% of our business, all because of that little sandwich. And it is a great little sandwich. All right, so today, yeah. people can get a deal on this. Uh, what are you doing? And you're giving back as well, which is kind of cool. Right. Well, as you know, Joey, every year around my dad's birthday, um, we celebrate Herb Day in honor of him. He'd be 101 years old this year. And um, we sell egg muffins for a dollar to the community. The proceeds for this year's egg muffin sales are going to the Santa Barbara Neighborhood Clinic, which is an organization I've gotten involved in this year. I'm just absolutely amazed by what they're doing. And Dr. Charles Finzi is on the phone, and, we're, and that money is going to go towards the vaccination process. And uh, Dr. Finzi, let's talk about what you're seeing during this pandemic. Uh, it's, it's a unique situation. And then kind of give us what your day is like as you deal with coronavirus and, and hopefully vaccinating more people. Well, just to uh, kind of give you a little bit of, uh, of history, right after we were locked down in March, uh, we were up and running four days later with telehealth availability. So we were we were able to continue to provide access uh, to care for our patients, even through telehealth. Obviously, some folks need to be seen in person, so we've continued to do that uh, by making everybody safe. They get screened at the door, temperatures taken, uh, we're all social distancing. Everybody wears a mask. Everybody washes their hands every time they pass one of the hand sanitizer machines. We rearranged our waiting room so that everybody was uh, six feet apart. And uh, we've continued. So early in the morning, we would see people who were not symptomatic with COVID, people who needed to be seen for their diabetes, et cetera. And then in the afternoon, we would see folks who were symptomatic with uh, folks in PPE and doing testing as needed, et cetera. Now we're delighted that we've got two vaccines, another one very close behind with J&J, &J, uh, available to our patients to start the vaccination process. Now, obviously, 400,000 patients or people in Santa Barbara County need vaccines. Uh, and so that's gonna be an amazing process. We have 22,000 patients for whom we care, uh, and we're gearing up, uh, recruiting volunteers, both the professional to give the shots and support to back them up with the running the lines, the traffic, uh, check out, check in, et cetera. Uh, and uh, what Dave is doing for us is just awesome in helping us uh, fund this whole process. Well, we thank, we thank both of you for being here with us this morning, and uh, it's a little something we can all do to try to give back uh, by getting an Egg McMuffin. It'll go to a local cause that is certainly doing good things. So uh, Dr. Charles Finzi and uh, David uh, Peterson, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, another way to honor your dad's legacy here uh, yeah. on Herb Day. Thanks, guys. Thanks.